Mobility is freedom to us. This is Drew doing an active kind of hamstring lengthening exercise. But things that we need to notate with that is, is he's in extreme hip flexion here and extreme hip extension here. So it's almost like a linear split, right? But he's loaded. His foot is in this TRX cradle. However, he does have graded load. He has the dowels in his hands to assist with that exercise. But nonetheless, these muscles all through here, this stuff all through here is active. And one could argue, will Drew ever get into this position in the game? Probably not, and especially probably not intentionally, but it's possible, right? It could happen. There could be a wet spot on the floor. He could go to stop and then boom, he's in that position. And I would argue now that because he has trained for that, he has took the governors off of his brain. Brain's gonna recognize that. He's gonna stabilize that and he'll be safe and be able to keep playing. Whereas, if I'm not training for these ranges of motion, my brain doesn't recognize that environment in my body and then it just turns on all the proprioceptors and potentially my tissue is no longer able to support the crazy contraction that happens within that reflex. You guys make sense of that? So precarious position accessibility, precarious meaning weird, different, crazy, random. He has the accessibility to get in those precarious positions if need be right if need be and drew's one of the best defenders on the planet so he'll probably get in these positions and then lastly protect the mechanism we just kind of brief rushed over it the proprioceptors are there to protect you if they sense rapid speed of contraction or length they kick on sometimes the muscle can't support that bad things can happen so we're just basically increasing the threshold of those governors 